Last week on Wednesday was the first day of the basic leader training course here at Camp Ashland. The Nebraska National Guard says they've been working closely with the CDC and DHHS to protect the soldiers that are training near quarantine. 175 soldiers training and sleeping on the same base as those potentially exposed to COVID-19. On the first day of training, just two days before quarantine, the CDC briefed the soldiers on the camp situation. Their questions were really about sort of, you know, why are we doing the quarantine? Are, is there any risk to them? Um, what's the process for if somebody gets sick? The soldiers are at Camp Ashland for a 23 day training course. They'll be there for the entirety of quarantine. It's fairly unusual um, and, you know, they're coming, it's coming to their backyard. So they just wanted to know um, that they were going to be safe and be assured that uh, this is in the, the best interest of the American public. In a press conference last Thursday at UNMC, Major General Daryl Bohack with the Nebraska National Guard was adamant quarantine would not disrupt the soldiers' training. That won't change. One of the standards uh, from the Department of Defense and Secretary of Defense was you cannot uh, you cannot take your space and turn it over if it compromises your mission and, and readiness. The Nebraska National Guard says 95 of the soldiers training this month are from Fort Riley in Kansas. I personally contacted all their leadership and explained to them what was going on. And there was no hesitation because of the confidence in Department of Health and Human Services and the CDC team that's here. The CDC says soldiers and the quarantine travelers have absolutely no interaction and sleep and train in separate buildings. If you're on the base, it, you know, everything seems um, seems normal. You'll see the troops, uh, you know, outside doing exercises and and people milling about and uh, the quarantine is, is going smoothly so far. Because of the cold weather, the Nebraska National Guard says they typically have more rooms available this time of year, which is why it was possible to have quarantine and training going on at the same time. Reporting live at Ashland, Emily Tenser, KETV News Watch 7. <laughs>